Welcome to myprojectbazaar.com Project title Uplink Energy Efficient Load Balancing over Multipath Wireless Networks Let's see the abstract Generally, wireless networks consist of a number of mobile nodes which communicate with each other over a wireless channel which have the various types of networks An important new development is the deployment of the base stations underlying in a traditional cellular network. The cellular architectures are designed to both coverage and the capacity for their subscribers. Nowadays, mobile devices are implemented with different network interface technologies such as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, 4G, etc. The development of increasing number of mobile devices have become an essential feature for the various technologies. For utilizing all the network interfaces, the load balancer implementation has to be highly focused. In the case of multi-interface mobile devices, transmitting the high traffic over multiple interfaces simultaneously. In this process, we examine the three important issues. First, how to dynamically distribute the traffic among each network interface such that the load is balanced. Second, how to minimize the mobile device's power consumption. Third, how to reduce the packet reordering without increasing the end to end delay. Hence, the proposed system uses an analytical model and developing a green energy efficient load balancing algorithm which finds a sub optimal solution. The extensive simulations under a practical scenario demonstrates that our proposed algorithm manages to reduce the power consumption without sacrificing the quality of service. Now see the flow of our process with the network formation is done. That is, the network is deployed with the number of mobile devices and the radio base stations. Then, a specific mobile device generates data which acts as a source to transfer data to the destination. For this process, root estimation is done. In this root estimation, it checks the traffic. That is, if the traffic is high means it performs the GEL algorithm, that is, Green Energy Efficient Load Balancing Algorithm, to find the path and it splits the flow. That is, it forwards packet in the multipath of the finding route. If the traffic is not high means it performs the packet forwarding to the radio nodes and then it reach the destination. After the packet transfer process, we have to analyze the performance that is the matrices are compared like energy, delay are all compared with the existing system. Let's see the running procedure. First open the terminal window and go to the directory where we have the code. And type in the space file name dot tcl. Now 100 nodes are created here. These are adjacent to every milliseconds of the simulation time. The positions of all nodes is updated. Also, the updated energy for all nodes is displayed. This updated energy represents the energy consumed by each and every node in the network. This is the network parameter window where only we see the output. So these are the number of nodes which are the devices to run the simulation. Click the play button. This is the simulation seconds. And you can speed up the simulation process. It represents in milliseconds. Here is source node. That is a source number device generates data and it forwards to the nearby base station. These are the radio base stations that are routed as the specific range. Here the mobile device forwards data to the nearby relay node and this base station it forwards data to 
the neighbor do you know to reach their destination from here? That is, we have accessing the internet or by searching something in the internet. So, if we search something, the request is forwarded to the nearby radio station, and this station forwards the to the other station. Which are under the same as now. You can see that here. Then it further forwards to the server. You can see that in speed of the process. This of the range that is displayed here. So here the data collected from the source node is transferred to the neighbor to station and finally it transfers to the server. So now the request by the user is forwarded and reached the destination. So here two base stations are simultaneously sent, which is send us the multipath communication sent by the user, and this uses the CBR traffic. CBR traffic here. After the ending process, we see the analysis result in graph. We see the graph back to the terminal window and type xgraph energy.txt. This is the energy presentation graph. Their number of nodes are compared with the energy consumptions of the nodes. Then to see the packet graph. Packet dot This represents the packet delivery ratio that is each and every packet loss and the packet sending process are total here for our system.